You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene. Johnson. On the AfterBuzz studios in Los Angeles, California, and streaming live on Ustream, this is AfterBuzz TV for Terra Nova. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest Terra Nova news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, picking up where the show leaves off, and the buzz continues, it's After Buzz TV for Terra Nova. Hey, you guys, <laughs> welcome to the empty roundtable of Terra Nova. You guys are used to seeing about four of us, but uh, tonight it's just myself, just Kristen Carney. Just, what did I say, just the four no, of no, us? No, no, I'm just adding oh. to it. It should be a sitcom, just the... Just, just Kendra and I, just the two of us. <laughs> just sitting here in a room, talking uh, about Terra Nova. I'm here with Kendra Cabasel. We don't have to worry about Phil getting it wrong this time, because I've said <laughs> it a million times. We have to worry about Jesse getting it wrong. Yeah. And you're here with also myself, Kristen Carney. But today we're missing a very special guest that we were expecting to have. Yes, we're missing Mr. Dean Geyer. Um, he's one of the cast members of Terra Nova. He plays Reynolds. Uh, he got a lot of airtime today, so we were looking forward to talking to him about this episode. But um, unfortunately, he had a personal matter to tend to, so um, we will reschedule. I don't know when we're going to have him here. But. Do you ever believe that excuse, personal matter? I feel like uh, no one really actually ever has personal matters, unless it's like diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't ever I'm believe that be excuse. Nice. Well, I mean, you know, you have I've to used give him the it. benefit of the doubt. So. Yeah, yeah. I usually and, don't. And you know, hopefully that, he's bro, hopefully he's gonna. <laughs> reschedule with us and we're still working on some other cast members so stay tuned yeah yes we won't say who but maybe some cool ones yeah some yeah. lead ones so fingers crossed yeah legs crossed all the time <laughs> keep those closed uh so um last week we we uh we were in the other studio so we're back in our norm um and it seems like a while ago that we watched the last episode it feels I was, like forever it feels like forever between yeah. each episode yeah it's just because all i do is sit alone in my apartment all day long <laughs> i feel like it's just <laughs> the, the days are so long so. Yeah. You're like, are we going today yet kendra no. yeah no yeah. that's next monday yeah my beard is really this grown out from the last one but i shaved <laughs> today so anyway what do we think about today's episode is it episode number six is it? I can never keep straight what it's episode we're on. Six or seven. We we lost track, but actually no. Sorry, I, I can tell you the answer. It was yeah seven. Okay. We have it written as six, but um, yeah, this one was called Nightfall, rightfully so. Um, there was a lot of darkness, but but let's go through it. I guess chronologically, <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to start off with um, Sky and Josh. Did we want to? And the parasite. It? And the parasite. And the friend. He is the parasite. Well, <laughs> but there was literally a, a parasite. And the involved. literal parasite. Yeah. Uh, there's so many different definitions of parasite in my world. Um, <laughs> Sky and Josh, uh, the par the man, the, or the friend, he's not a man, the friend, the Hollister model, um, who looks identical to Josh, which is weird. I don't know if anyone else noticed that. But they're all this casting, they look the same. They just go into Hollister and they just pull out the cash register right. guys and they're just like... We need a, we need someone, but um, <laughs> this guy uh, looked just like Josh, um, and he had a parasite in his stomach, the length of an intestine. Yeah, an intestine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Tomato, to tomato. That. And it was pretty creepy. Yeah, that was a little. I, I, I don't know if I could handle that again. If they're going to pull out another parasite on any other episode, but it was interesting because it kind of was the beginning of a love triangle. Yeah. In a way. Yeah. Um, Sky's apparently in love with Josh, as this friend pointed, pointed out. out. But um, she doesn't believe she is. Or I think she believes she is, but I think she was trying to hide it. Really? She was because from the, Josh number two. Yeah, from Josh number two. <laughs> because when you're sitting there having a parasite pulled out of your stomach, <laughs> the last thing you want to hear is that the girl you're in love with isn't in love with you. Oh, that's true. But he does have to realize that she does care about him because if you are standing there with a guy who is having a parasite being pulled out of his, pulled out of his stomach, you have to be pretty 
uh, convicted to him or pretty, you know, like into him enough to not run away. Because that I would run away at that point. Yeah. But then she also kind of called him a brother. She, she Family him, member. Yeah. 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 So I don't know how if she's playing with his mind, what, what's going yeah. on. Well, I think she's probably um, stringing him along a little bit because uh, she said, since my family died, this is the only, he's the only family member I've had. Yeah. So I think, you know, she would stick with him no matter what because she's trying to avoid loneliness and being alone. <laughs> <laughs> he's the backup plan. But I'm sure she really likes him as a friend. Yeah. But it's clear that she's in love with Josh. He's but again, I mean, you could just change his outfit, put him into <laughs> Josh's clothes. It's the same guy. That. It's the same kid. I knew you were going to say that. Um, Probably a better personality. Josh is a little, like I've said, that teen angst. But. Well, and we'll get to that later in, on the tweets. But, um, yeah. So what do you think about the surgery? Um, you know, I in the this, in this storyline of it, it's okay. I they don't have many doctors. You know they can't import them from twenty one forty nine very easily. So um, the doc. So um, Mrs. Um, Shannon. Shannon. Doctor Shannon. Doctor Shannon. Yes. More appropriate. Um, <laughs> having to leave and go tend to someone else is understandable because they just had got hit by a meteorite. Right. Which I thought would have caused a little bit more destruction. Yeah, I thought so too. Yeah, it would just kind of like blew through, and everyone was like, "Whoa." <laughs> Did you like, see that? And then they were just like, and now I'm shopping for apples again. Right. Sorry. It was like the Santa Ana winds or something. It right, was right. Like, but, I mean, there was some It was like the equivalent of my brother farting. Oh. That was like, <laughs> that was literally like the power of it. Right. Which is which is not under, an understatement. My brother's farts are pretty powerful. Say, I didn't, I don't know anything about that. But. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought, I mean, I thought it blew over a little bit. Um too quickly or, or, you know, I thought I because uh, the preview for this episode when yeah. they showed just someone like kind of getting blown away, I was like, all right, cool. Yeah. And it came and went so quickly. It was in the it was in the intro of the show because then they cut yeah. to the credits. Yeah. So I wish it would have caused more destruction and been more of a recovery I mean, episode. It a little intense because you saw people flying. You saw, you know. Blood. And yeah, but you didn't see any bodies left over. You know, it was like everyone was just had broken limbs, and and, and in that scenario, those meteor when a meteor hits, I'm not obviously like a scientist. <laughs> I'm not a scientist. <laughs> <laughs> However, I do think that if a meteor hits, it's like a big deal. My um, my mom told me a story of back in the '60s when she was a kid, a meteor um, hit. I don't know if it was an actually like a huge meteor or what mm -hmm. it was, or an asteroid or whatever. Well, we had one recently too. Somewhere, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, she, we're, you know, she was in New York and she saw the meteor hit. She saw, or she saw it coming, but it hit in Texas. But she saw it like right when it was. That's how wow. huge they yeah, are. Yeah, she was in New York. It hit in Texas. But this could have been just, you know, a piece of a meteor. Like, well, I want a we, big chunk of a meteor. <laughs> I want some action. Well, but. it was, was it? <laughs> what it was. <laughs> And there was some destruction. We had some broken limbs. They said nothing, you know, detrimental, but they handled the situation. I think it was just to kind of get that dinosaur from the Sixers to the Terranovians and get yeah. on with the story. Yeah, it gave him, yeah, it gave him a reason to to get over over to the Terranova Terranova colony. But um, I don't know. I think. Uh, what do you think is going to happen with Sky and Josh um, now that we do know that she's in love with them? Do you think that she's going to uh, let her feelings be be known? I don't know. I'm still hanging on to the Kara character. Yeah, <laughs> I'm still yeah. waiting to see what's going to happen with that. Is he still? Because he still seems kind of like he's pining over her for some yeah. reason. You know. Well, in the preview for the next episode. Um, he said something like, I don't think Kara's Car really coming or something like that. Yeah. So, or it was, it was something about Kara yeah. in the preview. So well, there's still still stuff, stuff to be seen um, with them. But uh, I don't know. I, um, I just wish things were moving a little bit quicker because I want to know... I want to know, like, I want to know about Commander Taylor, and mm -hmm. I want to know about Sky, and I want to know about Mira. And it's just, like, everything's a mystery, Yeah. which is good, you know, keeps you coming back, but... I just want some answers. Yeah. I think we're slowly getting them. Because I didn't realize this time with Mira, I didn't realize that she didn't know what was in the box. Yeah, and which was, was a big reveal. Yeah. Because obviously assume she knows. Yeah. 
And, I, you know, she I guess her motivation was just to get the box because of apparently something, you know, involving her is in the box. But well, with with seeing that that Commander Taylor's son was actually the one wanting the box, you can see that Mira maybe actually isn't in total control of the Sixers because it's she's answering to, to Commander Taylor's son. Lucas, right? So, yeah, so it put her Lucas. I am your father, that's what Commander Taylor. Says. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so it puts her almost in a position of um, I don't know what the word would be, but like a little bit of um, it humbles her a little because I yeah. see her as such a powerful figure, yeah. and now that it's like, oh, she's doing some something for someone else. Yeah, it's like why is she being controlled by him? Right. So he's got a greater power than Mira does. Yeah, it's that ongoing question: why, you know, why does she want the box? Why did she? You know, anyways, we need to yeah. figure all that out. Maybe for next week we can, um, since we're doing the DL Dynasty, D- I can't speak. Oh, God, <laughs> I'm a maturing boy. Um, maybe next week for, um, we can do a DL Dino, I'm sure, obviously, again. But maybe we can learn a little bit about a meteor and how uh, how they do actually affect the Earth and what the sizes are that, you know, tend to hit and stuff. Because I'm curious, you know, and I mean dinosaurs basically ended because of a massive meteor hitting yeah. the earth so we can delve into that yeah that'll be interesting to we'll get hit by our own meteor next week uh <laughs> um let's not have that happen <laughs> oh god um and uh what do you think about um this the box um with the stuff coming up in it what do you yeah. think that meant I wasn't sure. It looked. It reminded me of science class back in the day. Um, looked like atoms. I wasn't not. You know, not they weren't the twins of atoms, <laughs> but it looked something. You know, it looked like a blueprint for something. He said, uh, "What did he say? He he needs it for his work. He needs it for his work." Yeah. So I don't know if he's working on uh, creating a time capsule or some sort of thing, um, and it probably has something to do that's you know at odds with his father. I, I don't know. What, yeah. What did you think? Um, well, he did say um, he did say I've been out here for so long that I forgot my manners. Yeah. So he has m- probably been there a long time. <laughs> well, yeah, you know. he's probably a fiver, or a, or did he come over the first? I feel like he would have been on the first pilgrimage with, with his, his father. father. Probably. So he's probably been there a long time, but he's clearly surviving dinosaurs. He's got to have some sort of like living habitat. Yeah. Maybe. But he did look, you know, he looked messy and yeah. he looked like dirty Abercrombie. He <laughs> like didn't look he, like freshly showered Abercrombie. <laughs> you know? Like he lives amongst the, the dinosaurs and they're his friends. Yeah, kinda, yeah. yeah. Like he puts his hand out and they just come like right. and eat out of it. <laughs> Rather, yeah. Feed and, the birds, toppings the bag. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but um, I think he uh, holds a lot of answers to uh, what what it's. I, I, I don't even know what he holds the answers to. He just holds something. Yeah, and I think that well, probably in the predictions we can talk more about that. Yes, yes, definitely. Uh, well, if if Mira is, uh, do you think that Commander Taylor knows that Mira is in cahoots with uh, Lucas? With Lucas. Probably. I think Taylor knows a lot, a lot more than we give him credit for. Yeah. <laughs> Even though, you know, it took him a little while to understand that Mira probably set up the whole dinosaur diversion. Yeah. Um, but I think he does know a lot more than at least what we're learning, you know, than yeah. they're letting on to us. Do you remember, um, I don't know if it was like the first or second episode, but he said his family was dead. Did he say his wife was dead or his family was dead? Taylor? Yeah. I don't remember that. Because his wife is definitely dead. But I don't know if he said my family or if he said my wife. But he did mention his son. He mentioned his son in the first or second episode, mm-hmm. and I wish that I had, like, saved the notes in front of me. Yeah. Um. So I don't know if he if he thinks his son is alive or not. If anyone knows, if you guys want to tweet at mm-hmm. us, uh, do that, because I really <laughs> have no idea, and I should know. I'm not sure. Jesse? <laughs> Jesse hasn't seen the show. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I know, but he could have heard through the grapevine tape, <laughs> tape from weeks ago. Um, yeah. Uh, well, I I really don't know what to make of make of it. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure. I I can't remember if he mentioned his family dying or or was that also just kind of a cover up? Was is that true? Could they exactly. still be? Yeah, there's a lot of fronts. Or, and does he know his sons even around? I know you just asked me that, but now it makes me wonder. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because he. he he did mention it. 
Um, I just want to say I thought that scene was funny um, when Commander Taylor, uh, they were fighting when they were having like the fight scene, like the hardcore fight scene. Mm -hmm. And he gets up and he looks like Commander Taylor looks like a drunk old bum. And he's like, he's like, let's dance. (laughs) It was just so ridiculous. I did feel like they inserted a little more comedy in this episode. Yeah, I didn't know if they were trying to be funny or if it was, you think it was supposed to be funny? you know, the cute little spider song with Mr. Shannon. Yeah, that was cute. cute. That was cute. And there was another, you know, a little humor here and there. and That was a nice loving scene. Yeah. With the daughter. Nice. Yeah. yeah. It's like, just sneak into this hole. It's just what, <laughs> like, it's just like what you lived in before right. we brought you here. It's going to be very comfortable. We lived the trauma. Very familiar. Yeah, but she did it. It was good. Yeah. I actually um, had it, was chewing a Starburst when she did it, and I was <laughs> celebrating with my Starburst in my mouth. Um, what do we think about Maddie and Mark? Is Are they going to... Uh, are they gonna? Do you think he's gonna upset Commander, Shannon? I mean, Shannon. Um, no, I think he'll win him over. Yeah. Especially with lines like "You're perfect." Yeah. <laughs> and she called him beautiful. Beautiful. It was just such yeah. the romantic. She moment. read his line on the script. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, "That's my line." Yeah. Well, I you know with the family, um, there's so. I know we've been discussing this now for weeks, but there is so much family involved in this show mm-hmm. and uh, not tons of dinosaurs. And I feel like this episode maybe was like 60, 40 and you know, like 60, yeah. maybe, maybe 60% family, maybe 40% dinosaurs. Yeah. But I wish it was more 50, 50. Cause like, there's just something in, in my blood that if you see a dinosaur, if I see a dinosaur, I, I perk up. <laughs> really? You know? Yeah. But see, I know we keep, you know, revisiting that topic, but did they go into this show saying this is going to be a show only about dinosaurs? Or I think it was like a the you know they were saying like a sci-fi. So when you yeah. say sci-fi, you don't think family drama. You well, think because I read, I think it's in Australia and maybe London. They're marketing it more as a you know relationship-based show, not a, a sci-fi show. Yeah, I think that's a dangerous territory when you get into having something like that in your show because there's going to be certain fans that want that and expect yeah. that, and then there's going to be other fans that want more of a Dawson's Creek with dinosaurs, <laughs> right? You know, rather than. So, do you guys feel that this is bringing the action, or what? what you, they, they, you know what? It? They're hesitant on bringing the action because I feel like they're not. They're not. Uh, convicted to it like they don't they need to just really believe in it and just go for the action because I feel like they bring the action and then they back off but what type of action you're talking about dinosaur action I or? mean like well from what I've seen wouldn't you think that they would have bigger guns if oh. right <laughs> right right they're right. like solar powered I mean like right. a little <laughs> pea shooter it's like Dew. Right, and then he said we have this gun that's electric only. Yeah. You know, it's like, well, in case, you know, you do live, maybe if a dinosaur walks on the cable to the electricity, <laughs> you know, maybe you'd want to have just actual guns that don't need to be powered by something that's from the future. Like, for me, yeah. it's, it, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, another show that kind of had that same problem for me, but I actually, like, l- adored it when I was younger, um, was Lost in Space. You know, it's a sci-fi mo- show, TV show, but at the same time, it was all about this family that was traveling the world, and there was a lot of drama within the family. I mean, not to the extent of this, because it was more Gilligan Island style. <laughs> um, so I don't know if I just... Maybe Terra Nova is kind of cautious in figuring out who they are. Is that what you guys are yeah, kind of saying? Yeah, it's almost like I feel like they're like... the the teen that's like touching themselves because they're trying to like figure out like, am I gay or am I straight? You know, like they're, it's like they're really exploring their body. Do you think that it's working though? As far as, like, oh, I guess the reality is, is it could kind of go two ways. Do you think that they're trying to gain their viewers in by investing all this time um, on the characters so we're invested in them we care about what their lives are and then they, we can get into the action or do you think it would be make more sense to kind of like well we'll touch upon the love lives and all that stuff occasionally but let's focus solely on the adventure part yeah i i just i wish it was um i just feel like everything they're do, they're touching on all those things that you just said but i feel like they're holding back from all of them so it's like i feel like you need need to either go all in on something or just don't do it at all okay. you know like yeah. i wish they would go all in on the action or all in on like family 
you know, marriage problems or all in on killing dinosaurs, not killing dinosaurs, but all in on, you know, something like killing the Sixers or some, you know, it's just like they're like, for example, um, like they're too, it just seems to me like they're too afraid to commit. So, for example, in this episode, um, they get hit by the meteor, but they don't really commit because no one actually really dies or has any issues following the meteor. Everything just seems to fall back into place. And then, um, you know, this kid gets this, um, gets the, uh, the parasite. parasite. And instead of like letting the kid die, which I'm not suggesting dying is great, but like instead of, con- you know, just holding true to like the fact that this kid has a huge, massive, sick parasite, they let him live. So it's just like, we'll go there and then we'll back off and then we'll make a drama and then we'll bring it back to everyone's happy again. And so it's too resolved. Every episode, it's too resolved. Whereas with, because uh, it's the same create, not the same creators as Lost, is it? I don't no. think so. I know, I, you know, I, I don't know why I kind of compare it in that sense It's been compared it, over and but over, yeah. yeah. with Lost, they fully commit. You right. Know, I remember when I you know, first got into Lost, I was so drawn to the episode because it was like, where are we going with this? Mm-hmm. Uh, right. Whereas I'm kind of feeling but we just need them <laughs> to kind of make a decision. Yeah, well, well, I mean, I... I but sorry, what if that is their decision? No, you know, it, Maybe that, you know, the, well, with the parasite, but the meteor, I guess, yielded, you know, a blackout, and that's well, so kind of... that's my question. Is I it think more they're like, avoiding things that are maybe not super soft or, like, it's like they're avoiding things that might actually be real and might actually happen in real life, where, like, sorry, shit's tough, you gotta deal with it. It's like, instead of letting this stuff just be nitty-gritty, they're backing off... And they're just making it too soft. It's like you have to have some real drama because in real life, sorry, people would die if a meteor came. And sorry, someone would die if they had a parasite the length of a football field in their stomach. You know, so it's just like it's just too it's I just want them to be more real. Like I want them to like tear off the gloves, throw their clothes down and get in the mud and get dirty because I feel like it has the potential to really go places. But because they're holding back, it's like. You're, they're just dipping their foot in the water. It's like, no, just put your whole body in and commit to something and make yeah. it, like, badass. Because it could be. I think they are still kind of introducing everyone. Like, we didn't really know Josh number two. I can't remember his name. But <laughs> um, until this episode, right, when he had the parasite. And had he died, we wouldn't have felt the same, I think, you know, sympathy for Sky because she just... Yeah. announced that he's like family to her yeah so maybe it's you know season one is about introducing us to all of this but the thing is like the overall like there is so much on tv and if you're not going to grab somebody in the first season or the first five episodes then like what are you doing you know so it's like someone who's someone who's looking to like be entertained and want it like we want to get into it yeah and I, I mean, I'm into it, but we want to get <laughs> into it. And I just feel like you have to do all you can to sell to sell this show and to make people want to watch it. Because yeah. when they're just like dipping their toe in the water, it's like, hurry up, get in or get out. Because yeah. like there's another show coming down the down the tube in the same hour, <laughs> you know. So I just feel like they really do need to just get ballsy and be like, bam. You know, uh, the show Heroes. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that show. I, I, I was obsessed with it. Um kind of fell into the same problem the the thing is in which i'm i'm actually going to say probably is what's going on with terra nova is heroes really focused on wanting to you to understand this world that they were creating and you kind of had to go with them within for the first honestly two seasons of it um really detailed about the characters and it was about Every, but at people, the problem was people wanted, they are about superheroes. We want to see magic. We want to see powers. We want to see action. And we got it, but they were never fully committed until the last season, and then it was gone for that. So I think, mm-hmm. you know, uh, I mean, we'll talk about ratings, so I'm excited to hear about that. But, I mean, they've been pulling in some good ratings, uh, you know, so maybe they're not afraid to lose lose some people along the way but be able to finally kind of build a world of terra nova for you to actually you know dip your hand in it and understand where they're going because if they do it too fast though then it kind of becomes corny right uh well yeah no believe me i know that but like a show like 
I only really refer to Boardwalk Empire because I love the show so much, and I'm really sorry that I refer to it all the time. No, it's okay. But that show from, like, the get-go, you knew what it was about, you know, and, like, you knew, and it and it hooked me so quickly, and it was not cheesy, and it didn't exploit any sort of one, um, one avenue of, of where it wanted to go. It just was so, um, it just brought me in so quickly that I wasn't, impatient I because I get impatient with tv shows clearly you know like I can't even I have 80 I need to like take like suit like 10 ADD pills before I like sit down and watch a show so I can like just calm down and actually like enjoy it um but I just I just personally wish they would go a little bit quicker but yeah we'll see as it goes you know <laughs> into episode eight <laughs> <laughs> the rant continues here at after Buzz TV, we're going to let uh, you guys uh, listen to a quick commercial, and we will be right back. The biggest new media platform on the web just got bigger. More bandwidth, smoother streaming, lightning, fast download. Don't get technical with me. After Buzz TV is making the jump to hyperspace. Uh, Join the fun at your number one source for after show entertainment. Look at the size of that thing. After Buzz TV. All right, you guys, we are doing the DL Dino of the Week, which for those of you who are new, that's the dinosaur on the down low, <laughs> not the dinosaur you can download. <laughs> that's, that's in the future when we make more dinosaurs and you can download them. Um, I'm excited to hear about this one. This one was pretty cool. Um, Jesse, did you get my email? I sent you. Um, all right, awesome. Um, oh, nice. I'm going to embarrass myself once again when I don't really know how to uh, pronounce this, that, although I did have all day to figure it out. <laughs> it's the Linher Raptor. That's okay. what I'm assuming. L-I-N-H-E-R-A-P-T-O-R. -E um, it was found in Mongolia about 80 million years ago. And uh, so this would be a dinosaur that would actually be going on right now during Terra Nova. Oh, okay. But as I said earlier, we're not actually sure. Terra Nova hasn't really stated what part of the mm world it's I mean I know that the plates were all kind of connected right but we don't really have an idea of where they were but possibly this dinosaur could have been um, in Terra Nova and uh, he's about 8.2 feet long mm -hmm. but I was really confused because I had to convert it from 2.5 2.5 meters is 8.2 feet long but then it said he was 25 kilos which would only be 55 pounds. So it doesn't really make any sense to me. <laughs> well, he looks a little slim. But they said, yeah, they said he was very agile. Yeah. So I was thinking, well, maybe that he was 55 pounds. Possibly, yeah. Because he was just all muscle and, and, and no fat, really, and, and tiny. And, yeah. yeah. So he had, um, he's a carnivore. So he likes, he likes steaks and hot dogs <laughs> and... Uh, he also enjoys chicken from time to time, but usually chicken franchise. No, he can't fly. Those um, those arms are. Let me see what they're. They're. Um, I wrote this down. To fan them off when it's hot. They're called. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> bad joke. That's a good. That was good. That was good. When he gets hot. Or maybe when he runs, like I feel like. It gives him more aerodynamic. Maybe, like, if he jumped, he could get like a little higher. Right. Yeah, they said. <laughs> they said his arms were just long, large killing claws. Because it looks like he has... He has, like, wings. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what those are. I don't know what those are for. He can fly. Um, and uh, if, you, if I did send a picture to Jesse that was a little bit different that I saw, um, they were uh, kind of... They looked feathered. They almost looked like they had feathers. Oh. Um, That's interesting. And this was the uh, skeletonized version um, because that dinosaur was actually found in a region um, which is famous for its preservation of uncrushed, complete skeletons of dinosaurs. And so um, this is the fifth dinosaur that they found in that region completely kept together. Wow. Which is pretty cool. Like, that'd be awesome yeah. to come across that. Um, wow. And uh, what else did I want to say about that really quick? Um, da -da 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 -da. Um, nothing. I think that was it. Um, but uh, I did look up because we had a conversation last week um, about how paleontologists know what the skin looks like mm -hmm. on dinosaurs. Oh, yeah. So I wanted to do a little research. Yeah. Um, the answers were pretty unclear and kind of like uh -oh. <laughs> bullshitty, like a little bit. So we're back at square one. <laughs> so we're back at square one. No. But um, 
basically they say they make edu educated guesses. Okay. You know, they take into consideration where the dinosaur lived, what type of reptiles that are similar to that live now, and what their skin looks like now. Mm -hmm. I couldn't find an an answer um, regarding to how they knew like where stripes would be, mm -hmm. you know, on on the body. I couldn't find anything. That's probably a guess also. Yeah. So it's just edu educated guesses, but um, mm -hmm. they do say that um, some paleontologists are actually um, in disagreement because some say that they were. Um, like murky colored, almost like turtles or like reptiles of today. But then there's other paleontologists that believe that they actually had bright colors to find mates and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So they're all, it's all who say. Or what well, if they what were chameleon-like? <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I have no <laughs> but, imagination. I mean, <laughs> well, let's, let's dig into your imagination. Oh, God. Oh, really, I, okay, you're very creative, Kristen. So Thank cool. you. Oh. I mean, you see, you know, they claim that, to me, when I look at this, I would think it's related to a lizard or a reptile. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of paleontologists say that they're closer to birds. So Right, exactly. And, and I'm a, like, Discovery things. Channel geek. Yeah. So I know that even when you look at any type of creature, whether it be mammal, fish, bird, within all of those species, there's not one that's just, like all mammals are one color they're all dull you know so i don't know if i could actually sit there and say yeah all dinosaurs are murky and you would think they have these feathers they have yeah these things and just like birds they have there's a lot of birds that have puff out their neck feathers and it's different colors and mm -hmm. that attracts yeah. them to other things so yeah i i definitely see where they're coming from as far as that's yeah. concerned well but, that was one of the arguments they said that um they are, you know, in the bird family, there's colors. And so that's why some paleontologists don't believe that they were, you know, just green and gray colored. So I think they could definitely, because I also, you know, I'm I'm a Discovery Channel nerd, but I'm also just a nerd. Right. Um, but uh, they, I love that, um, that Discovery Channel, uh, when they have the exotic birds, or the, um, uh, what are they called? And they like, it's so ridiculous. And they jump around like this. Exactly yeah, 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 it's exactly amazing. That's exactly what I was thinking. And that reminds Best. me actually of uh, the dip bud. Uh, Oh my gosh, I'm not even gonna remember his name. The dinosaur from Jurassic Park, where he like spreads his oh like, yeah, and he like does and, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. yeah, you know. And so, I mean, it wasn't the brightest of red colors, but even with lizards, we see lizards with oh, red yeah. underbelly spots. And snakes. Yeah, and it's just evolution. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah. And I think there's some markings or something on certain like skeleton where you could maybe see darker coloring. So you would assume maybe it's a darker, you know, a brighter color was there or something. I don't know. But. And some probably had to hide and have camouflage. So yeah. Some were murky and dirty and gray and yep. et cetera. Yep. It's very interesting. Yeah. I like Discovery, too. Yay. <laughs> Discovery is cool. The meerkats. So that's the dinosaur of the week. All right. I guess we'll get into the news and gossip. After Buzz TV News. Actually, well, it's not necessarily news news, but I guess we can kind of discuss some of the ratings that we've been talking about over time. Um, and according to tvedge.net, I found they actually do keep up with the ratings according to uh, what comes in every Tuesday after the show airs. So um, season, well, season one, episode one actually had 9.09 .09 million viewers, which we thought was pretty good. Yeah. Um, last week's episode, I think we talked about it last week, but yeah. um, I don't know what Gabby said. This this says it was 6.38 million. Yeah. So it kind of fell. Uh, we won't know tonight's until tomorrow at noon, but, um, you know, throughout the, uh, the season, uh, it's been an average of like 8 million viewers. So... Yeah. Which is steady, like Phil was saying last week. It's a steady number. It's, it's been, not the biggest of all time. Right. It's been steady. It's been dipping Declining, each, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Each, um, each week. But I think, I don't know. I don't know what to predict for this week. What do you think it'll be? Uh, I, an article that I read before I came um, said uh, the series has lost, in terms of ratings, serious ground. And, you know, that was... I was reading as I was airing on the East Coast, and so I'm assuming that, but I'm assuming that was not for tonight's episode. Yeah. But um, it has, I don't, unfortunately don't really understand how to read ratings. It had 5.2 slash 8. Do you okay. know what that means? Um, Jesse, do you know what that means by chance? 
ratings? 5.2 slash 8. Yeah. I don't. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't either. I'm going to have to. So maybe out of 8? It depends on, yeah, the article. Every, everything was like 5.2 dash 8, 3.9 6. So I don't know. Uh, I'm okay. bad at math. But I think it has nothing <laughs> to do with math. But um, it, the, it says actually, um, what I read, it said last week, Terra Nova was beat by everything except the sing off on in its oh. time slot. So, or in its like, you know, yeah, time ar- arena. So I was gonna say, sing off's like two hours, so then how does <laughs> yeah? I mean, they overlap, but that's yeah. the only one that that did not beat Terra Nova in terms of ratings, okay. unfortunately. Okay, interesting. Yeah, um, other than that, I saw some tweets, uh, I checked out some of the tweets, see what people are talking about with the hashtag Terra Nova, um, without trying to you know have a spoiler. Um, happened to me <laughs> before coming in. Um, it was interesting because I saw tweets in different languages, which was kind of hard to read. <laughs> <laughs> that too. Well, I knew the French ones, but um, so there was a lot of enthusiasm about the show. There was a lot of confusion about the show, and then there were some haters. So you know, there's a, a broad spectrum of um, opinions, but it's nice to see that people are talking about it. I can read some of them here, give you a little chuckle. Uh, Nicole Hendris wrote, uh, best new show this season. You should watch it. Okay. <laughs> Thank <laughs> that, you, Nicole, <laughs> for the very insightful review. Uh, Kate Johnson wrote, thanks, Terra Nova. I'm now paranoid about having a 30-foot parasite inside my intestines. Uh, wish I hadn't been eating while watching that. Yeah, that was pretty sickening. <laughs> um, Michael Tresca wrote, seriously, Terra Nova? Pterodactyls, pretty sure you can punch one and it dies. Mm, tough guy. Little perspective there. <laughs> this guy's tough behind Twitter. Uh, who was this? Uh, Faye wrote, my dad chuckled all the way through the Go Away Spider song. He could relate. Excellent episode, which um, I read before seeing the episode. Oh, okay, so, so you like, know it's coming. Yeah. Um, well, but I didn't know how it would sound. Yeah. So, um, they were singing it to a dinosaur. Right. Go away, spider. <laughs> it's like, ar ar. The spider on the dinosaur. Um, somebody, uh, Callie Lynn, I think it's Callie or Kaylee, K A L I, said, uh, please give more airtime to Taylor and Son. So that was yeah. interesting. Yeah. Um, I agree. There were some other opinions of who they shouldn't give airtime to, but I won't get into that. Um, and then it was interesting because some other people treated it like it was Monday Night Football. Um, Lisa Marie Krushak wrote, photo shoots on both sides of the camera today, now beer, pizza, and Terra Nova. Oh, yeah, that sounds like football. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, and then other people were just kind of questioning what's in the box. And others were not on the bandwagon of enjoying the show and said, and now I'm watching Terra Nova, hashtag snore. Um, so, yeah, I know. Jesse gave me the face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to represent all sides because, you know, like we discussed, yeah. not everybody is on well, the Well, and bandwagon. it's good to hear those because hopefully they're hearing it and saying, you know what, let's commit to something. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Listen not- to the K Carnes over here. Yeah. K Carnes, everybody. K Carnes. Well, uh, that's interesting to hear. Did you just click on the hashtag Terra Nova? Yeah. Yeah. You do a search, and yeah. that's just whatever you know. They were coming in by the second because yeah. East Coast and yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it. People are talking regardless of you know. It's good. Twitter's just great marketing, just yeah. great free marketing. Yeah. So yeah, it was interesting. Well, uh, do you have any any? <laughs> we are gonna get into <laughs> our predictions. predictions. I'm scared. <laughs> The extra, Thanks extra for like effect. taking up the dead air that I'd be having right now because I'm like, I don't know. I don't Question know. Question mark? Thought bubbles? Do you have anything, Kendra? Any thoughts? Um, I just, I'm curious about Lucas. He kind of just came out of nowhere. I just want to know more about him. I predict he's up to something. <laughs> That's my prediction. Uh, you know, more on Maddie and Mark and... Um, I mean, I think that's that's all. It's it, we're getting snippets of what's gonna happen next, so I'm not sure. I I predict there will be more dinosaurs. Yay! <laughs> Hopefully for you, Kristen. And um, what do you what do you you have no? I don't know. I'm so I don't know. I just I always feel like every week um, that the direction I think it's gonna be going doesn't go the way I think. So 
it's like embarrassing for me to be like, this is going to happen. And then, <laughs> and then the opposite does seem to happen. I can, so I can tell you the next episode is called Proof. Okay. If, if that gives any inkling yeah. as to what we're going to find out. Do you remember what happened in the in the previous? I just for some it just leaves my brain the instant I see it. Something we, about an we agreement watched it twice. And a gun was slid across oh, the yes. table. Oh yes. Okay. I'm going to get into the son um for a second. Josh, he's definitely be going uh, to become a traitor. Yeah. Um in what capacity it's going to be for Kara? You think Most he's likely. doing it for her? Yeah. In her name? Yeah. <laughs> in the name of Kara? <laughs> Blaspheme. <Yes. laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, I definitely think it's going to be for Kara. I think he's desperate to see her, and um, and he's going to turn the gun on his family or something, because when, when he was holding the gun in the preview, it looked like he was in his own house. But then he was talking, was that Sky he was talking to at the at the gate? At the perimeter. Yeah, she um, said, if you do this, you, Commander Taylor's going to be so mad at you. Yeah. But then they showed him with Mira. Right. And she was like, you must do this. Yeah. Oh, but he owes her a favor. Right. So right, right. even if he doesn't want to go against yeah. his dad, he kind of gave his word. Yeah, we're going to see some serious trading. Yeah. And not on the stock market, people. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse liked that one. <laughs> Smiling, Jesse. <laughs> well, um... I, any, do you want to throw out your Twitter? I have one more thing? prediction. Okay. All I right. predict that um, <laughs> next week, Gabby and Phil will be here. Oh! And that they'll be feeling better, and we, we wish them well. Hope I they're... will actually not be here next week. Oh, okay. I will be in Key West, Florida. Oh, really? For a Still wedding. on Monday? Yeah, I get oh, back okay. Tuesday. Okay. So, so I predict that you won't be here. <laughs> <laughs> Just predict well, my plane stays afloat. Like, that's all I care. I'm, I, mean, I hate flying. Oh, scary for me yeah but uh, yeah safest form of travel yeah hopefully you guys will uh, join us here next week um if you guys want to hit us up on twitter um on facebook all that kind of stuff uh, my twitter is twitter uh whatever Dot at com slash yeah whatever Kristen carney k-r-i-s-t-e-n-c-a-r-n-e-y um, and uh, my uh, my website that i want you guys to check out is called sweat the small stuff with kristen.com K-R-I-S-T-E-N. Yes. No. A-S-S-H-O-L-E. <laughs> <laughs> and my Twitter handle is at Kendra Cabasell. K-E-N-D-R-A-K-A-B-A-S-E-L-E. -E. And that's the same spelling for my website, KendraCabasell.com. All right. So it's it. fun. Yeah, I know. We did good for just the two it. of us. Uh, <laughs> Phil, Gab, we're sorry. <laughs> it's over. We... It's just Kendra and I from now on. <laughs> Find your own show. But we hope you feel better. Speedy recovery. Not me. No, just kidding. We'll see you guys next week. <laughs> Join us here at the same place. We'll see you then. Same time. Bye. From producers Kevin Undergaro and Phil Svitek, engineer DJ Jesse Janity, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. If you have questions or comments, be sure to buzz us at info at AfterBuzzTV.com. And you can find us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter by searching for AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal.